الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله All praise be to Allah We praise him With him we seek aid and help To him we repent By Allah glory be to him We seek refuge from the evil of our souls And from our bad deeds and wrong doing Whosoever Allah the exalted guides, none can misguide. And whosoever Allah, glory be to him, misguides, <coughs> none can guide. I bear witness that none have the right to be worshipped but Allah Azza wa Jal. And that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his messenger. Allah the exalted has said, which translated means, O oh, who you believe, fear Allah as he should be feared, and do not die unless in a state of Islam. So in this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the believer to fear him as he should be feared. Most of us today claim that we are fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Most of people today claim that they fear Allah Azza wa Jal. But the matter of fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should be scared. We should be uh, scared from, from, from the uh, disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from displeasing Allah and disobeying Allah. So the matter of fear of Allah, we should avoid any kind of sins we should prevent any kind of disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should obey Allah continuously the matter of fear of Allah that we couldn't claim that we fear Allah while we are dealing with haram that we are dealing with usury or dealing with uh, uh, adultery or fornication dealing with uncover our body from, from wearing the hijab dealing with while we are dealing with uh, 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 alcohol drinking or dealing with business with alcohol or the, the matter of fear of Allah that we have to stop uh, uh, any kind of sins we couldn't uh, 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 fear Allah or claim that we fear Allah while we are uh, 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 betraying people or cheating people and cheating people or we are in the matter of uh, the disobedience of Allah subhanahu this is false fear of Allah we should fear Allah as he should be feared means to obey Allah Azza wa to obey his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to stop any kind of sins and to stop uh, ourselves and uh, uh, to boycott any kind of wrongdoer. This is the matter of fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he should be feared. And uh, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, has you know, ordered Ya ayyuhaladzina amanu qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. The matter of fear of Allah that we should protect and save ourselves and our families uh, uh, our families from a fire. This is the matter of fear, to fear Allah and to fear His punishment, His torment, to fear the hellfire, to be in the hellfire, and for ourselves and for our family, and that kind of the fire, Allah is describing that the fuel of this kind of fire are people and the stones, and this kind of fire has, you know, uh, has such kind of angels. They are very strong, very harsh. They have no mercy. They have no mercy. Allah has created them with harsh heart and uh, strong you know, actions. They have nothing except they don't understand except obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are under the obedience of Allah, uh, according to the obedience of Allah. And they are not 
disobeying Allah, they are under whatever Allah ordered them. Ordered them to punish this kind of people, they have nothing except to punish this kind of people. So we have to fear Allah as He should be feared. And we have to be scared from this kind of fire and this kind of you know, creations like the angels or the harsh angels. And do not die unless in a state of Islam. Do not die unless in the condition of Islam. And the condition of Islam is to practice the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> Most of us claim that we are Muslims and we are saved and we are protected while we are dealing with you know, uh, people or non-believers or supporting non-believers or taking them as friends or supporters or uh, brothers or helper or protectors. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Amir al-Muminin, the leader of the believers, Umar radiallahu ta'ala was, you know, warning people from taking the non-believers, you know, as protectors or supporters according to this ayah. And he said, do not die as a Jew or do not die as a Christian. Do not die as a non-believer by taking this kind of people as friends or uh, supporters or protectors or like uh, brothers. So uh, uh, the matter of uh, dying, you know, in the matter of Islam, that we have to practice Islam from the age of uh, puberty or the age of maturity till the end. We have to practice. We have to do uh, uh, the, 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 the righteousness, you know, continuously till the end of our life, till the last second of our life with, you know, uh, uh, sincerity. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, some of people like they like like when they whenever they act uh, righteously, they feel proud of their actions and they feel that the sincerity and they like they are like you know uh, 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 obeying Allah and being proud of themselves and being proud of their actions uh, and until you know the Satan will uh, you know will will misguide them or you know like give them the the, the uh, let them feel like the arrogance in their heart and you know to be proud of themselves and this kind of people Allah dislike we have to worship Allah with righteousness with sincerity with with, with right actions and with with humbleness we have to show Allah that we are humble and we are doing this only for him this and for you know till the last of the time because of the prophet because, because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was like uh, telling us very, very important and very, very, uh, uh, you know, important message, important hadith that we should practice our deen, you know, and we shouldn't feel any arrogance in our in our our heart. We and the, the Prophet was saying that the person or the, the 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 believer or the person is acting righteously and uh, uh, following and practice. Uh, you know, uh, for uh, you know, in uh, uh, being openly uh, means like uh, you know, in the front of people, till he has nothing or in the distance between him and the paradise, just less than one arm. Like he's khalas, he's very close to the end, very close to the paradise. Uh, this fima yabdul nas means in the front of people, and people thought that he is right, but until that, and then in before the end. He will get the misguidance because of the arrogance in his heart or being proud of himself and he's not doing that for the sake of Allah but for show off or just to for people and in the end of his life he will act according to the actions of people of her fire until he die will die in with actions of people of her fire until he you know die with with people of her fire. On the other hand, the people who are like acting or practicing according to the <coughs> sins or disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they may they have sincerity, they are trying their best until the end and the, the, the distance between them and the hellfire is like less than one arm, but they will in the end they will act and Allah will guide them according to their, something in their hearts. Allah will act them, will, will, will guide them to die with the actions of people of paradise until they die according to the actions of people of paradise until they 
enter the paradise. The result of this hadith that we have to act, to practice, and to obey Allah and His Messenger uh, uh, with righteousness and also with sincere actions, sincere intentions till we meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, to practice according to the aqidah of, you know, wala al bara and we learn, we heard that the, even the stones, even the trees are acting and obeying Allah in the matter of worship and bow down and prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making the salat and uh, 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 love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and make difference between the believers and non-believers they are acting according to this aqidah love for the sake of Allah, hate for the sake of Allah and we need to be in the level of the trees or the, uh, the stones so uh, 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 with this kind of, of, of uh, aqidah so we need to, uh, to, to, to uh, act according to that. Now we learn that the stones and trees uh, 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 worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, glorifying Allah, uh, 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 praying to Allah, making the salat, and Allah only is the one who knows their kind of salat, and they know their own salat and the kind of salat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, 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 guide our hearts to die and to fear first, to fear Allah as he should be feared and to die in a state of Islam, not to die according to or as non-believers or uh, uh, the uh, uh, people who are wrongdoers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide our hearts. May Allah glory be to him, uh, forgive our sins. May Allah azza wa jal uh, accept our uh, 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 good deeds. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله تعالى لي ولكم وجزاكم الله تعالى كل خير